Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new one wherein I'm going to be talking about how to integrate your LLM based chat ops platform Kubia.ai with your AWS account. Now, first thing first, in order to integrate, you want to make sure that you have got your AWS account and Kubia set up on your Slack. Now, first thing first, you got to do is type in slash manage, and this is going to be the entry point for you wherein it's going to show you what's been integrated, what's not. Um, as you can see, you, do, you can integrate with Jira, you can integrate with GitHub, but what we are really interested in this one is connect with AWS account. I've just disconnected in uh, just before few minutes before getting started. So now I'm going to show you how to connect with AWS. So as as soon as you click on connect with AWS, it's going to ask you a bunch of information. The first one is AWS account ID. Second is the role and then the region. Let's head over to our AWS console and start getting these information. The first thing is AWS account. So you can copy your AWS account, type in over here, role. So now what you need to do is go to the IAM section and uh, I hope you already have a role. If not, you can, within a few clicks, you can create a brand new role. Give relevant permission to your Kubia role. Uh, attach bunch of policies which it needs to be, which it, Kubia needs to in order to perform bunch of operation. So if you go to the roles, what I've already done is I've already created a role. However, you could create a new role by clicking over here and attach from the default policy, which is available already in AWS. So. If I type in Kubia, I've got this Kubia chat ops role. And if I click on it, I have got a bunch of policies attached with it. Actually one policy, which is administrator policy, uh, administrator access. Now basis on your company's organization's need, make sure you attach the right policy. If you haven't got the right policy, make sure to create one. All right, so once you've got this policy attached, click on copy and paste it right over here and uh, type in the region it's going to be us east one for me i'm going to click on connect and within few seconds it should be able to connect to my aws account so that it is ready and to perform the magic for us all right so now kubia is connected as you can see connected to aws i'm going to hit on close and it has given me a bunch of example what i can do what i'm really interested in is give me a list of we all love S3 bucket, right? Give me a list of S3 buckets uh, because it's really easy, really simple to get started. So what's going to do is Kubia is thinking right now, uh, got his thinking hat. And then if you see the reply, you would see that just a moment, I'm trying to access your AWS resources. It's working on it. It's going to reach out to the AWS console. I'm going to pass the information and give the result to us. Operation successfully completed. And you can see you've got all of these buckets. You can verify them as well. You can go to the S3 console in your AWS and verify you've got all of these buckets created so that you just need to, if you, it's just in case you uh, want to double check. All right, let's, while this gets loaded, I'm going to ask it to list me all the roles as well all right let's go to our while it fetches the information within few seconds let's go back and get all our just, just verify whether the s3 buckets are there as you can see there are seven buckets which was listed by kubia as well got all you these buckets over here all right now we are asking it to perform another operation asking kubia to perform another operation which is listing of all the roles which is available operations completed and as you can see it has listed all the roles we have got the kubia chat ops also which is actually associated integrated with kubia platform all right that's it for now i hope this was informative i'm pretty excited to come back and talk more about these cool features which Kubia has got. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.